Benny Diaz has won state championships and set school records on the track, but the best appears to still be in front of the Sagatuck senior hurdler and sprintler. He has big goals for the last month of high school and beyond. Saugatuck senior Benny Diaz is fast, really fast. Throughout middle school, I I was really um, fast in track and in football, and I was always fast, uh, fastest in baseball. He used track to help with speed and athleticism for football and baseball. Baseball was his first love and the sport he thought he'd play at the next level. But last year, he suffered an elbow injury, which changed things. After that, I really fell in love with hurdling, sprinting, uh, the process of getting faster. So. I've really enjoyed it the past couple of years. While he isn't pitching, Diaz continues to play baseball for the Trailblazers as well as run track. And it's always a big time commitment to do both. A lot of late nights, doing homework, uh, sometimes in the morning. Uh, but it, it's, it's a lot of hard work, but I'm, I'm completely fine with doing both. I, I have fun with both, have great success in both. Diaz won the state championship last year in both hurdle events. Baseball and track star at Saugatuck? Stop me if you've heard this before. Blake Dunn did similar things not that long ago. Diaz broke Dunn's school record in the 110 meter hurdles. Dunn still owns the 300 meter hurdles record. They have a lot of similarities and just like they are, uh, they're gonna win, it doesn't matter. Like you can trust that they're going to win, they're gonna make it happen somehow and if they don't, um, they're gonna die trying. One thing Diaz has that Blake does not is a cool nickname, Benny the Jet Diaz, like Benny the Jet Rodriguez from the movie The Sandlot. Makes perfect sense with the first name, speed, and love for baseball. Just announcing uh, Benny the Jet Diaz on the main speakers, so yeah, it was, it was pretty funny hearing that the first time, but now I'm just used to it. Diaz is hoping to live up to that nickname next month at the state finals. He'll defend in both hurdle events and last year was second in the 100 meter dash and third in the 200. In four events, um, I think it's a lot, going to be a lot easier this year and I think it's, uh, I'm, I'm really able to do it this year versus last year was a, a just a goal. Now I think it's a real possibility for me. Diaz appears to have a bright future in the sport. I think he's got a real shot at representing our country someday. I mean, U20, he's like sixth in the world in the hurdles. You know, like that's crazy. Uh, like I don't think people realize how good that is. Diaz has signed a run at the University of Michigan next year. And while he is serious about being great as an athlete, he has other priorities too. Education is one of the biggest things that I still need to focus on. It's not like if I'm this freak athlete, I can just disregard school. The Trailblazers are up a division this spring, so Benny and his teammates will be competing in Division 3, where the state finals are scheduled for Kent City High School on Saturday, June the 4th.